Hello, and welcome to Mini Music Monday. On this MMM, Lou plays and discusses and plays demos of his song Garden and speaks about its evolution from post-election paranoia to something less paranoid later. Thank you for listening. It took some time, but now I can say I wouldn't have it any other way. It had to happen. Nobody's happy with it. Everybody's living through it. Must admit I get it. That was my, the first verse of the first demo I made for the song Garden. Mm. I was thinking that that song um, was like a pandemic song. Nope. I started writing it in 2017. That's a, that's a lot longer ago than I knew. I didn't know that about that song. Um, I had a considerable amount of paranoia around the 2016 election because I realized that uh, white supremacy and abortion were on the ballot and people were kind of going to vote for the anti-abortion thing and for white supremacy. And that was Terrifying. incredibly disturbing to me because both, I mean, abortion mm -hmm. is a woman's right mm -hmm. and white supremacy. See, it's nonsense. Don't make it harder. Hand me a hand. Turn away. It grows in the garden. It's easy to chew. It's sweet like you. So that's the first version of the chorus mm -hmm. I wanted to write a song to just I don't know make myself feel better about what had happened because I was like look to me it was very clear Donald Trump's strings were being pulled by white supremacy it was that I mean whether he was even right. aware of it I don't even know if he knew the extent of it I mean it was very little, very little uh, investigation that I had to do to know what was happening. Bannon. Yes. Miller. So uh, I started writing that song. Um, eventually, it it mutated into an electric song. Um, the lyrics kept sort of evolving, and. Uh, I decided to, to take it to Dinosaur Jr. Yeah. In 19, or 2019, yeah. when we began recording the what became the Sweep It Into Space record. But um, the song, I mean, I it was originally a very it was very paranoid. Like, yeah, <laughs> I was really it was rooted in paranoia, right? So rooted in paranoia. This yeah. garden song. Um, uh, even the uh, like the original chorus when I'm talking about it grows in the garden, it's easy to chew. I was thinking about the collapse of civilization. Wow. And just imagining you and I like eating weeds out of our backyard. Oh. I was so triggered. And then I realized that like, right. <clears throat> you know, I realized like, that that trigger, that kind of apocalyptic trigger had been in my life for so long. Yeah. And even bef like before the election, I wrote a batch of songs that came out as Apocalypse Fetish. Yes, yes. Where I had made, I made a video for the, the title yes. song that is like all black pickup trucks and machine guns. I'm like, because I was like... This is what's going on, by mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you can... 
Like, that's kind of where we're at, Mm -hmm. just so you know. We're Mm -hmm. talking about uh, the sort of legitimization of of white male rage, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which, you know, look, we all know it's been boiling. It's been under the surface for a long time, but Cheeto brought it right to a head, and that's what I saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, that's what I saw. It triggered me. It's been a long time paranoia of mine. Absolutely. And uh, Daddy Cheeto is extremely triggering. Uh, so understand and I, and I, and I, that you would. Look, and it's not, you know, it's not <laughs> him. It's like, it's not a Trump derangement syndrome. Like, it's, I mean, I, it's not about him. Like, I don't think I'm talking about what he represents. Well, yeah. I mean, it is. I'm talking I mean, about But the, he is the face of it, you know. Sure, so I'm talking like, about the enormous shit but that is But it's so much greater than him. Work you know? through the body politic, through the America. The, see, I'm, I'm like, I've, I've traveled the country for the, well over the last 30 years. Mm-hmm. I've seen cities fucking explode. Mm-hmm. I've seen people change. I've seen roads get paved. I've seen buildings be built. I've you've seen immigrant populations seen, come into these small towns. You've seen, you know? I've seen all this stuff happen. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. This is pretty far along, everybody. I mean, if you're really trying to pull this back, I'm like, that's it's 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 a it's sad. I'm like, this is going to cause a lot of sadness and pain. Fear, fear, sadness, pain. That's what I saw. I saw like that. And that was, oh, this is fear. And fear is this wild energy. Yeah. You know, it's like, I know it when I feel it, like, oh my God, the wild, the wild speculation, the paranoia that I'm capable of. And then yeah, when if I sp- I'm this paranoid, I'm this paranoid because right. I'm, I'm like, because I, mm-hmm. I understand paranoia. Right. And I understand right. fear. You know, I really yeah. understand it. I'm not really. You know, I'm not going to be one to point at people and go like, you shouldn't be fearful. I mean, I don't believe, you know, I, I I have a lot of empathy for people, like anybody really, for how they become themselves through this spiky world of ours. You know, it's a very, there's a lot to negotiate and we don't, we don't always do our best. We don't, don't, I, oh, I can't explain it, honey. Ah, oh, maybe I should just play. I play the song that I. So I ended up writing this song, mm-hmm. and I ended up adding uh, a third part to it. Uh, you know, the song was I first started writing it in 2017. It I finished it on February 25th, 2020. You know, just before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, but yeah, this song, it felt. You know, one, the, it was weird. It was weird to play this song after the pandemic because I think it almost. Anyway. Yeah. Well, the pandemic had no shortage of paranoia. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it really kicked oof. in. Oh man, that was such short. I, I was I like. I mean, and that, that hit all of us, you know? Next thing you know, we're all like homesteading and. What do we do? Have a bomb shelter? Oh my god! I was <laughs> how so... much? How much do we hoard? I don't know. You know, uh, are the zombies coming? Um, I don't know. Shit is wild. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we sway. Couldn't have it any other way. Now it happened. Nobody's happy with it. Everybody's living through it. Must admit, it get into it. Don't make it harder Hand me a hand There's no time to wait Now where is the garden And when can we move I love how you move With me It takes time It takes Time living on a razor blade to know the way. So don't make it harder. Hand me a hand. There's no time to wait. Where 
is the garden And when can we move I love how you'll move With me Raised On the faith The sentence holding It can be broken uh, Yeah, we were faith the center's holding and can be broken and now that it's started and might not stop the precious drop Back to the garden Look in my eyes I will survive I was just sitting here thinking about that song and about the paranoia and the fear and how, you know, I, I will say this, though, about fear. I do encourage people to try to combat their fear. I do because you know what? <clears throat> it is an it is an interesting journey to do it, to do that work. And I've really kind of I, I didn't know this was going to be something that I was going to be embarking on my whole life was this sort of like journey of me confronting oh, that's a, my that's fears. A, do you know what I mean? Interesting exactly because I I it was almost like finding out that I <laughs> It was almost like like finding out. And it kind of happened during the pandemic, really. I mean, where I was like, "Holy shit, fear is like this, this twin brother of mine." This is literally like someone that I've been living like. Fearful Lou is like this person that lives with me. We are like Siamese twins. I was like, exactly. Oh my god, mm -hmm. motherfucker! You've been here the whole time, whispering in my ear and telling me like insane shit from the like the time I was like five or six years old. Exactly. Speak and speaking right. in the same way and telling me the same story that that everything is collapsing. <laughs> And I have felt that way. And I, because I think every time when you do have a real spike and when that spike happened to me after 2016 and the pandemic, I was, I was like, um, where is this coming? What is this? But then to realize that then to just go back through my life and go, oh no, this is something that you have to like, yes. you have to, you got to talk to this fucker you now. You got to look at it. You got to look, look your little, you got to look your twin brother in the yes. eye and just go, listen, yes. bud. Yes. Listen, bud. If we you really want to. You got to start talking to that person. We got to start listening. Yes. I got to start listening to you. I got to start looking. And you know, and it's funny too, because when I went after 2016, that election, I was, I was like, you know, when I walk in the world, I'm going to make more eye contact with people. Mm. I'm going to be more, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching and looking around, but also noticing like the kind of beauty, the, the kindness that does like go back and forth between people everywhere. Every day. In the everywhere. country. Everywhere. Yes. It's like, mm -hmm. because you know, that's one thing. Thank you. Ooh. I have a few more things to say. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> listeners, of this episode of Mini Music Monday. And it's very, very strict. No, not so strict. Constraints. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to move on. <laughs> move on. Thank you so much for move listening. In. Move in, Again. guys. Yeah. I, I want to say this, okay, because that this, this line of the sphere talk, it, there's a lot to it. And I just want to say that um, for me, my unexpected journey has been getting curious about my fears, doing the work to see where, where did this come from? Why do I feel this way? You know, and then also like having some compassion for myself through and going like, oh, okay, yeah, that can be kind of scary. But then also like going, but does that make sense? <laughs> 
you know, and putting it to myself to go, you know what, it's also okay to not live in fear. And it's also okay to look at that thing that used to be have such an iron grip on you and go, this actually doesn't need to have this grip over my life anymore. And it's okay for me to embrace these things that I once really feared. And I will say that when you do move around the world and you do see things, you are actually witnessing that happen in real time. People having to face their fears and move through things that make them deeply uncomfortable and continue to go about their day. And it happens all the time. And I do believe that like that is incrementally making changes, you know, and my, listen, my folks, as you all know, are in Wisconsin, that state, you can't just say, Wisconsin is one way, or Wisconsin is a bunch of, you know, Cheeto loving, small minded people. It's a diverse, unique, interesting, complex place. And don't write off places, you know, purple. It's don't write off places. And remember that Things are happening there. You might not know if you've never been to Wisconsin, but I go there a lot. And in these small communities, like near my folks place, you will see there's a wave of immigrants there. And you know what? They're a part of the community. And the community, they might have been a little like, "Eh, oh, scared. We love our Cheeto and we love Daddy Cheeto. And this is scary. And then the next thing you know, they're like, well, but now we're going to actually build them a church that they feel comfortable in. And now I'm going to marry an immigrant. And now we're, you know, and it's like, yes. I've, I've, you know, there's so much change that does happen and people do work together. Mm-hmm. so much. It's like that arena tour that I did with Weezer. I'm like, oh my God, people really work together to bring incredible things to life in days. I mean, like whether it's a sporting event, it's a rock show, mm-hmm. it's a monster truck event. I mean, the amount of work that goes into that, and these are all people working together. Right. And so, um, you know, I, I do, when I do really feel, and I, I see that divisiveness when I see people pointing fingers, when I see people making decision are making ch- choices and decisions out of fear, mm-hmm. you know, I I personalize it because I think of I think of how I've made choices out of fear in my life, you know, and I, I relate to that, and I relate to how fear is such a big part of our lives. You know, when you speak of faith, it's a word that you have to take very seriously. Faith is a is is hard mm-hmm. it's very difficult to have faith mm-hmm. that things are going to work out because we mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. carry around so many of us mm-hmm. myself included and i've written from this point of view and the song garden is very much from that point of view too is you know i am struggling to have i want faith in my day to day it's like you know, the garden, you know, the mm-hmm. fact that things grow. Yes. <laughs> you sow the seed. Yes. <laughs> you grow the seed. Yes. You know, that's when well, we the, need to take care of our community. And yeah, I mean, our, I, yeah. so I, I get I get super tweaked when I see fear on a large level. And yes, when I and see stoking it, <clears throat> I, and when I see fear making <clears throat> decisions for people. Mm-hmm. And when I see, and I, and especially when I see fear being used to make money, I think it's it's just when you see people using fear to line their pockets. Well, and and you it's know, like well, I'm like I'm like yeah, and it's aye, aye, fear aye. to keep people racist, fear to keep women uh, submissive and not in control of their bodies. And um, listen, yeah. we don't. That's not okay. Thank you for listening to Raw Impressions Mini Music Monday. Thanks for listening. Again. <laughs>